Curious Monsters, and welcome to the lab. I'm Teacher Jaffe, and I am a fan of launching things and seeing how far they go. And today, we'll try that with some straw kits. Straw rockets. I'll show you how to build one, and because they're pretty easy to make, I'll teach you some variations that you can try. Also, I'll give you some ideas for tests to run on them. Finally, we'll talk about the science behind how these rockets and paper planes, and real planes actually, fly. Sound cool? Let's go! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel before anything else. That helps you find more videos like this. And it also helps other kids find more videos like this. Help them beat boredom while you beat boredom too. Win-win! Alrighty, for this one, we're going to need some paper, some scissors, glue or tape, a pencil, and of course, straw. This one is pretty easy to make, but any help from mom, dad, or anyone who's older is very welcome. Gather all those things, and let's go. First, we need to make the body of our rocket. Take a small bit of paper and wrap it around the straw. To do that, just put the straw down and roll the paper along with the straw. Seal that up with tape or glue. Now, we need to cover the top of the straw so when we blow into it, the air gets trapped and will push the rocket forward. I'll show you several ways to do just that. One way is to simply cover that part with tape so the tape will catch the air. Make sure there aren't any holes left. The other way is to put a nose cone on top. Take a small bit of paper, roll it into a cone. Make sure there isn't a hole on the top. Cut the excess bit so the cone will look neat. Now, we prepare the top body to attach it to. Make little snips along the top. Then, we flare them out and open them up. Put glue on the top part, then stick the nose cone. Now, we move on to the wings or fins. We'll need to make some triangles. They can be big, small, whatever. This is completely up to you. How many you make will also be up to you. Draw triangles on a small piece of paper, then cut them out. Remember, when using scissors, keep the scissor hand facing forward. If you need to turn corners, use the other hand to do that. To stick it to the body of the rocket, fold one side of the triangle. Then, put glue on the bent bit and stick it on. And that's it! Now you have a straw kit. To set it flying, all you have to do is put the rocket on the straw and then blow as hard as you can. See how far it goes! Now, here's where our very own unique designs will come into play. Try making a few more. Try them with bigger wings. Try them with smaller wings. Try them with more. Try them with less. Try them with none. Try them with a longer body. Try them with a shorter body. Then, test out to see which one travels the farthest. You'll need a wide open space so they won't crash into anything during the test flights. Before you go off and experiment, Let's talk about the science behind how rockets, paper rockets, paper planes, and real planes fly. Let's talk some basic physics. We'll talk about the forces that act on these things. A force is basically just a push or a pull that acts on objects around it. Here are some forces that push or pull our rockets. The first one is thrust. That's the force that pushes planes and rockets forward. It's usually boosters on a real rocket, or engines on a real plane. On a paper plane, it's the hand that throws the plane in the air. 
in our rockets, it's the air from our straw. Next, we have lift. That's the force that keeps rockets and planes up in the air. On a real airplane, the wings are designed for the air to go faster over the wing and slower under the wing. Because it's going faster over the wing, the force from the top pushing down on the wing is less. The air passing under the wing is slower. And because of that, the force pushing up the wing is more. That's how it can maintain its balance and keep its lift. The next force that affects rockets and planes is drag. That's a pull that slows down the forward movement from the thrust. Here's how to imagine it. If you have a pool, a tub of water, or a big container of water, try moving your hand through the water like this. You'll notice that it's a little bit harder to move your hand like this through the water. The water that your hand is pushing against is also pushing against your hand. That makes your hand move slower in the water. The same thing happens in the air. The plane or rocket moving forward is pushing against the air that's already there, making it slow. And the last force is gravity. That is the pull from the center of the Earth. And because the center of the Earth is always below us, the force is always going down. That's why anytime we drop something here on Earth, it falls down instead of up. So for airplanes, rockets, and our strockets to fly, the thrust needs to be stronger than the drag. Otherwise, the forward flying will slow down and eventually stop. Also, the lift needs to be strong enough to keep gravity from pulling it down. Otherwise, it will start falling. Now with all this knowledge rattling around in your brain, See if you can figure out why some of the designs flew better than the others. And that's it for today! I hope you had fun designing and flying your Strockets. If you're still bored, there are lots more activities just like this on the channel. Look around and see if you can find the next fun thing to do. Moms and Dads, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook. That's the best place to reach us if you have any questions about any of the activities. Also, that helps you keep up to date with all things Curious Monster Lab. Well, that's it for me. And always remember, be brave, be kind, and stay curious.